Good morning. Good morning from Alaska. Hi, sissy. Okay, can you can you guys hear me? Maybe send me like a heart or a thumbs up. Hi, Patty. Okay. I know there's been times we've been unable to communicate. Hi. I wanted to do a live um, after coming back from Seattle because I've kept all my skincare that I took with me in this. I haven't unpacked it yet. And so I thought, thank you, Patty. I thought I would show you guys what I took with me that that's kind of interesting to um, to know, like what you packed, whoops, there's the mirror, what you packed, what you used, um, that kind of thing. Um, so before I unpack it, I thought we could go through it together. That mirror keeps doing weird stuff. Hi everybody, good morning from Alaska. So we got back Tuesday afternoon. So this has all been sitting. Um, I've kind of been picking into it and using things, but trying to make sure to put stuff back. Um, so I'll show you guys all the skincare I traveled with, which I have to say, um, I used to pack a lot more than this. So I feel, I, I know, look at, that's a lot. I feel like, um, I feel like I'm getting better at packing choices and trying to stay, um, you know, what is just not overpacking. I just, I don't like the fuss of overpacking. Shelly is here. He's actually asleep on the bed. But now that I'm talking, he's like, are you going to do this? Hey, bud. So I'm going to try and keep my voice down, but he doesn't like it when I'm talking. He doesn't like my voice. <laughs> That's funny to say. He doesn't like my voice when he's trying to sleep. He, he likes a little bit of quiet. So hi you guys. Um, if you're just joining, we're just going to go over everything that I took to Seattle skincare wise. And if we still have time, we can go over some other stuff, but let's just start picking in here. And of course I had to take late EV, the milk cleanser from BR. I don't like to say the brand's name because I'll butcher, it's in French. Um, I did write a review on this and I really, really, really like it. I bought, I wish they had a travel size of this, but they don't. So this is the smallest I could get um, to take with me. It's probably the largest thing I took with me. Um, that's the milk cleanser and I have a review on it and I love it. Jen, hi. How are you? So glad you made it. Hopefully it's not too late in Australia. Um, so let, uh, cleansers, I bought a late VIP O2 just for traveling. They have these nice little travel sizes at Tosca's Spa. And this is really great supposedly for traveling and the gook and grime of um, being in a city, I guess, and wearing SPF and all the things. So I, I enjoyed having that and I do like that. Um, the other cleanser I took, look, I butchered it. I finished it off. Is the Jordan Samuel, oh, you're at work. Okay, well, hopefully you can listen in and I'll try to talk you through everything so you don't have to look. Um, I took this little travel size. It's a half ounce of the Jordan Samuel Skin treatment cleanser and I cut it open when I got home and got out every little last bit and it lasted me surprisingly well uh, for the trip I thought that a half ounce would I, I'm generous with my cleansers I really like to go all in with a cleanser um, so I a little tiny half ounce I got I was just like Ugh. But it, it lasted surprisingly well. Um, Jordan gave me a couple more when I got to see him on Monday. Um, 
So I'm going to save those for traveling because they're, they're so tiny. They're so perfect. Um, if it, When we go to Hawaii, though, I'll take the bigger one, the three ounce, this size, just to generously, because we, we go to Hawaii for a little bit longer as well. How many uses, Sophia, um, I'm, the next time I use this, or the next time I use one from beginning to end, I'm going to count. I really didn't think it was gonna last me more than two or three uses. And so I didn't even think to keep count. And then once I finally finished it, I thought I really should have kept count <laughs> um, because it just kept going and kept going. And, and I lost count because I didn't start counting. So I'm sorry I didn't, but he gave me two more and I'm going to save them. And when I start, I will start counting. Like, I don't know, I don't know exactly how I'll do it. If I'll take them on a trip and just count per post. Like as I posted in my skincare routine, I could say, this is use number, you know, one or two. And I, I used it to double cleanse. So that would be, I used it twice. So I'll do that and I'll, I'll let you know exactly how long it lasts me. But I was very surprised at how well, um, how long this little tiny, it's cut, no, it's cut in half. So it's actually like this big, but it says it contains a half an ounce of product. And when you think about it, a three ounce tube, it's one sixth of that. So, um, so yes, a definite, Sophia, definitely more than a few. I, I could, I want to say like maybe even six, but that seems like too much, right? I don't know, but I promise you, I will keep count next time. And I am traveling soon. News breaking. Um, so that's that that's so I took these are the three cleansers that I took I took late EV which I love I took the treatment cleanser which I also love and I took uh, late VIPO2 which I like a lot um, I also when I was using the treatment cleanser Sophia just just to let you know um, I was doing the the mixing of hydrate and the treatment cleanser um, so maybe adding in the hydrate added more volume to my cleanser. That's another thing I'm thinking that maybe that did that. But if you haven't, if you have these two products, if you have the Jordan Samuel treatment cleanser and you have hydrate, mixing the two in my palm, um, I wish I could, I, I should probably try to do like a little video demo. It turns, mixing them in my palm before putting it on my face to cleanse, turns it into this beautiful, creamy, luxurious cleanser. I It's hard to describe, but if you have the two products, I highly recommend playing around with it. You know, to equal parts, 50-50, one part treatment cleanser, one part hydrate. Um, I don't think you could mess it up. Um, it, it was just fantastic. So I also took the Hydrate Facial Serum, used it to mix in my cleanser, also used it as a serum. I don't leave home without this um, or the treatment cleanser. Um, I did take a Vichy, love masking, also added 12. Uh, Sophia, do you mask, you mask with the treatment cleanser and hydrate and add a 12? I love a 12, it's so good. Hi, hi everybody joining, hello, 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 welcome, welcome. Hi, we're going through my um, travel bag that I just took to Seattle, all my skincare. So if that interests you, um, one teaspoon is five mils, so six uses sounds about right. Okay, six uses of the treatment cleanser, Jen, you think? Um, I think, yeah. Anyway, so the this, this little Vichy thermal water, I grabbed a couple of different brands. I love the Aven thermal water, the Caudalie grape water. Um, and so when I was shopping, I just grabbed some different brands so that I could try them in the travel size and just take them. I really liked the pump on this. This Well, it's like a, it's a spray, but I really liked the feel of it. Um, and it behaved just like a Ven Thermal Water. I finished that on my last day. So it lasted me um, two routines, you know, twice a day for five days. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that guaranteed glow, um, 
with the treatment cleanser and hydrate when I removed it even with a washcloth it left this beautiful hydrated glow to my skin it was so nice hi everybody we're going through my Seattle travel bag um, what I took to Seattle um, yeah the glow even even on my decolletage um, I was just almost like moving in the mirror to just see the glow that it left and it was just this soft healthy hydrated nourished skin it was really nice I I can't believe I hadn't tried it sooner um, finishing up with the Jordan Samuel stuff I took I of course took the performance cream which I love um, and I have a review on so I won't go deeply into it but his stuff is just very travel friendly so if you like it at home it's easy to travel with um, all the squeezy tubes um, nothing's ever leaked on me even though it's like a little pop top they have like a nice click um, I've never had an accident with any of the squeezy tubes but even his little glass hydrate um, travels so well um, for me so that's it for I think that's it for my Jordan Samuel stuff I um I packed the intrinsic silken wipes I just throw a bunch in the sandwich bag and I don't know how many I took or how many I used but I brought home three that I didn't use so they'll go back and get used and I use these in place of washcloths for my skin and it's fantastic for travel because if you don't know where you're going or where you're staying you don't want to pack washcloths um, or depend on your locations washcloths I love the intrinsic silken wipes these are the four by four inch size and they're basically um, like a like a gauzy cotton like this if I open it if I can get it all the way open here here we go so here's it's an eight by eight and then you fold it out if it, it comes folded um, and I use them folded but the cool thing is just that you can unfold them and and have clean sides if you're trying to get makeup off I like going in and getting the makeup off and then flipping it over or doing anything like that um, so I ever since I started started using intrinsics discovering them for travel was just mind-blowing because I used to actually <laughs> pack washcloths and take them with me um, and it's such a hassle if you've ever done that <laughs> hi hi and I took some two by twos, um, same thing um, for makeup removal. Um, they're fantastic for, again, because you can flip them over. There's all these, you can open them up. There's so many sides. You can do mascara, you know, and have a, start with a clean side without using another cotton. You guys know what I'm saying, I, I think. <laughs> um, so I just use a little Ziploc sandwich bag and I'll reuse this sandwich bag for my next trip. And, um, but taking um, intrinsic silicon wipes uh, while you're traveling or, and, and using them in place of washcloths is one of my favorite ways to use the intrinsics. They're just a travel savior. And you just, they're disposable. You throw them away, you don't reuse them. Um, they're just like cotton squares. Yeah, the intrinsics, right? Hi, Jill. I see you. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I just start talking and I don't see who's here and then oh hey hey Jill are you supposed to be studying <laughs> no judgment no judgment no judgment okay um so what else I took for cloths um, I bought the Cogendo cleansing spa water wipes I think like last summer somebody was talking about them I'm like oh those would be great for travel and then I didn't travel until just now um, and these were these were these were really nice and um, as far as cleansing cloths go, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jill, you're right. <laughs> um, as far as cleansing cloths go, I think these are really nice ones. Um, I think the ingredients list is nice, although don't make me get out my readers and look. Um, they came highly recommended. They're great for cleansing cloths. But for travel, I don't think that they saved much space. And when I only had like a little mascara to remove, I felt I was wasting them a little bit, you know, because the cloths are big and then I'm just like almost using not even half the cloth to take off my mascara. Where I have I already have my little two by twos, I could have just brought a little 
bottle of remover liquid maybe. So they weren't like a huge win, but as far as um, cleansing cloths go, I think these are good. These are, these are really nice. Um, but did they save me space or perform miracles or, you know, you know, you feel me. So, yes, Jill, I'm very sorry. Okay, so those are, and, and um, they do, they do seal, they did seal back up nicely, so they'll save for the next trip, and I'll, I'll take them and I'll finish them for sure. Nothing bad to say, I just didn't think that they saved me that much space, you know, except I've already got the silicone wipes, but anyway, okay. I did pack my Nukes um, Revdamil lip balm for um, when I was um, in the hotel. I didn't take it out of the hotel with me. I took, um, what did I take? The Jack Black lip balm um, I took in my crossbody bag because it has SPF 25. So out of the hotel, um, I took that and then um, in the hotel with my skincare, um, I even though it's in a glass jar and it's a little bulky, I don't care. So my lives are more interesting than studying. Well, I'll take that. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Hopefully the lighting in here is getting better. The sun's up. Um, let's see. I've got some BR in here for you too, Jill, just to taunt you. Um, speaking of SPFs and outside, I took two with me and I took a couple of sachets. Um, with me. Okay, look, I shake them. I took the Clarins UV Plus Anti Pollution Broad Spectrum SPF 50. And I took the poly, this is my new tube. I just got a new tube for the, for the year. You don't want your SPFs to go over 12 months old after you open them. So fresh, and this is fresh. Um, Paula's Choice Resist. This is the Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And I have a review on this. I really, really like this. Um, it has a little bit of a tint to it. I don't know if I can show you guys. Ooh, do you see that? It has a little bit of a tint because it's an all physical, so you're like trying to avoid, you know, that white cast. What do I have to wipe off on? Not a Cogendo wipe, but. Um, so those were the two SPFs I took. Um, I find that the Clarins was too glowy on its own and I had to put, um, this, what is my favorite physical SPF? It is this one. It is the Paula's Choice uh, Super Light and you can read my review and see if it resonates with you. Um, it's under the hashtag Liz Alaska Beauty Review on um, on my homepage on Instagram. Okay, I hope that helps. Love a tinted SPF, right, Jen? And and to to speak to this and its tint, um, it is nice. But I realized after I realized that I also went bronzer shopping, and that's when I bought that. Um, really nice Chanel bron cream bronzer and fell in love with it. But I think it's because I think the tint on this does leave my skin tone looking a little bit dead sometimes, not all the time. Um, so, but I do, I find the finish on this nice and natural and I would go out with it. This I found was a little too glowy but it sat really nicely under my No Foundation Foundation Serum SPF 30 coverage. The two went together really well. So knowing that, I wanted to bring this for days when I was gonna be out in the sun. I could put the No Foundation Foundation Serum over top and be really extra covered, you know, with plenty of SPF. But this on its own um, just felt, looked a little heavy and a little too too glowy to the point of greasy looking looking not greasy feeling but greasy looking so this is still hands down my favorite um, I, I think it's really pretty and and I and I kind of tend to appreciate a physical SPF 
more so than um, a chemical, but I'll do both. I'll do both. Did I just see Patty show up? Oh my God, Patty. I love you, Patty. Patty's my best friend from childhood. Can you believe it? Um, I took um, the NIOD copper amino isolate two to one and used that. You guys see that in my feed very regularly. I have a review on it. And taking it with me was a no brainer. Um, so I took the one, the two acid products that I took. I took the lotion P50 PIGM 400. Hi, Jennifer. Look, Angel's here too. Oh my God, you guys. Hello. Hi. You guys were going over, damn Skippy. We're going over my travel bag from Seattle, what I took skincare wise. Um, I've kept it all packed um, and we're unpacking it. <laughs> Narnia, Patty, you've sat here with me, Narnia, right? So fun. Um, so I took the P50 PIGM 400. I love this stuff. It's sort of my go-to acid toner these days. Um, and I usually apply it with a wet intrinsic silicone wipe. I'll spray a little thermal water on the intrinsic wipe and then splash out some P50 and dab it all over my face. Because my skin is reactive and sensitized, I find that's the best way for me to get acid, acid toners on my skin regularly with less reaction, less negative reaction. So that's why I do that. And then the other um, acid product, the, what is this, one and a half percent salicylic acid UFO from Sunday Riley. It's in an oil base and I use this as a spot treatment or um, on areas of congestion after cleansing. I am not sure I even used this while I was gone. Maybe once. I don't know. I'll have to look at my feed and see if I even used it. But I love this product and I wish they had like a little tiny travel size like they they make a luna oil in a really tiny size i wish that they made this in a tiny more travel friendly size but i and i have a review on this as well if, you, if you're curious um in my um liz alaska beauty review hashtag it's on my home page there's a little link to it you can kind of scroll around in there um one thing that i brought with me that i thought i was going to use and was excited to use. Um, it takes forever to get through a UFO, right, Jill? Um, is the Indeed Labs 10 Balm. Um, this stuff is fantastic, and it's only one ounce, squeezy tube, twist, perfect. Um, and I was planning on wearing it on the plane. Um, it has a beautiful finish um, in that it's not too heavy or greasy, but the product is very nourishing and protecting perfect for travel but I ended up grabbing some of my BR samples which are even smaller and playing with those for the flight so um, I think if I didn't have those I would definitely um, have used this so I threw it in there and then I just didn't use it but it's a great product great for travel I think as well for the size and the the lid and everything. I took some SK2. I took some SK2 in my little Tatcha spray bottle. This is the little travel size of their Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, which I don't really like, but I love the bottle. And I put a little SK2 facial treatment essence in there to have. Um... Bye, Patty. I love you too. <laughs> I'll put this in stories later for you. How's that? Um, so I, I took that and I used it a couple of times, but it's still plenty full. These are great for any type of um, product that you want to travel with, any liquid, because it just screws right off. It goes in there. It's great. Um, yeah, and who wants to take a big glass SK2 bottle with them somewhere? Not me. Um, I did take another can, so I, here's the two cans of um, thermal water that I traveled with. This emptied on the very last day, 
And so I used this just one time. And we were there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, so this lasted pretty well. I was pretty happy with that. And I will save this for, for future travels. Um, and I love a Venthermal water. I use it constantly. Um, let's see. Oh, that's a secret. Um, I almost finished the Rejuvi Flavonoid Complex while I was there. It's this brown serum -y stuff. And I only really use it at night if you guys follow my routines. I think I said this before. But did you check any of your skincare or your care? I did, I took one checked bag and I checked this bag that we're going through now. And then I took some of the BR bits on the plane. Um, so this bag got checked. Yeah, I don't know if you, if I could have gotten all these liquids through carry-on or what their policy is now but I checked I checked this bag that's a really good question thanks Jill um, am I missing you guys I'm not missing a bunch of other stuff hi hi hello hi and uh, I'm I was talking to Jess from uh, Stark skincare if any of you know her and she had done a YouTube video in her pajamas um, without doing her hair and how um, people should see women without all of this, the makeup and the hair and the styling and all that stuff. And I thought it was an interesting point that I tend to do most of my lives in my pajamas, no makeup, no hair done, um, because it's how I kind of feel most comfortable um, and I thought that was, I, I, I don't know, I just feel most myself. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm in my pajamas <laughs> and I'm not wearing any makeup. I did do some skincare. I did brush my teeth. So, <laughs> but if you don't follow Stark Skincare, she owns her own green beauty uh, skincare line and she does YouTube videos. Uh, and I just, I, I love her videos because it's just kind of like this style where she's just sitting down and talking about whatever she wants to talk about. <laughs> and uh, I think it's funny to do uh, that. She mentioned that doing her, um, it, that it would be good to do a video just in your, just, just how women normally look and not getting sort of, I don't know, dressed up or, or perfecting, trying to perfect your look before people see you that, the way that you are is natural and, and normal. Um, so I, I don't know, I just thought I'd bring that up and, and maybe give her a shout out because she's just got some very um, thoughtful YouTube videos um, and she's a nice person. So the other product that I took, this was gifted to me by SkinCeuticals. Can you believe it? Um, I think since they got bought by L'Oreal, they're, um, reaching out into social media more. I'm not quite sure. Um, but this is their HA Intensifier. It's a, a hyaluronic acid serum, or it helps to amplify the skin's hyaluronic acid levels. And it's quite interesting. Have you guys seen this? What it looks like? It's like purpley brown color and it doesn't look like any other hydrating serum I've ever used. I don't know if you guys can see it there. See how it's, it doesn't really start to run? I've got my um, hand so that it'll just drip naturally. It's kind of, so you can see it's kind of thick and it goes into this, it has a decent slip to it so you can spread it around, but it sinks in pretty fast it's like nothing I've ever tried before and it and SkinCeuticals I think has good science behind them they know what they're doing I, I, I feel like I can I, I trust when they say that it will do what they say it'll do I don't feel like there's any sort of immediate visual plumping or anything like that but they don't claim that they just claim that over time it helps 
it builds the hyaluronic acid levels in the skin. And I believe that it will do that. Um, and But I tend to like to mix it with my tried and true um, Jordan Samuel just because because this is so thick, the texture of it sort of weirds me out a little bit. Although it plays nicely, it feels nice. Um, you know, I, I, I'm just sort of, this is my tried and true little buddy here. So mixing the two together, I find, I don't find it to be redundant, even though they're both hyaluronic acid serums. I feel like they're just such different formulations and, and yet they work so well together. Um, I really, and, and the, the Jordan Samuel sort of like gives more spreadability and it's, the hydrate is more, more my speed on, on how it feels on my skin. And I like, I like the way this goes on better. I find it more of a joy to use. So maybe that makes me like this more. Um, but the two together, <laughs> I like really using, somebody was asking me to compare them and they're just. I think the way that they approached the way that they made them was so different. They're so different, and then their price points are wildly different too. This is much more expensive than this. Um, but I think that using them together, you're sort of getting the best of both worlds. I don't know if that even makes any sense, but it feels lovely on the skin. I feel like I'm getting different hyaluronic acid, different types of hydration ingredients all at one time. So. I, I really like these two actually together and separately, but most together. It's just it's just really nice. Um, I also brought the Neod. Um, I call it FECC, the Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate. It, oh, Jill, what it is super nice. Just yeah, very expensive. So yeah. I don't, I don't know, like, what would I, like, it's like 90 something dollars, and the fact that they gifted it to me, I didn't, you know, shop for it, and, um, you know, and all that, so, <laughs> it's hard to say, um, but they have science behind, and, and what do they do, um, when they do, you know, customer testing and stuff, testimonials, no, oh. studies. <laughs> have studies. Um, the new Clinique Moisture Surge, 72 hour, very pleasantly surprised by this new formula. Pretty affordable and could be perfect for summer. I've heard really good things about that. It's the new, it's, so it's a new version, the new Clinique Moisture Surge, 72 hour. Okay, I'll have to remember that. I heard somebody else telling me that it was pretty nice. Um, so yeah, there's so many great hydrating products out there. It's hard to, to say, you know, this $92 or how much ever it is, is, you know, over the moon, but maybe over time. And I'm only right about there on the bottle. So clinical studies. <laughs> Thank you, Sophia. So I took that FECC with me um, for the eyes. It's a, hyal a different hyaluronic um, acid molecule sizes to penetrate deeper um, on different levels of the of the eye area and I really do like this I find the packaging a little fussy with the dropper trying to get one little drop out um, to spread but other than that I really 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 like this um, and find it to be a great hydration product I do like to typically layer something over top of it I find the finish a little glowy nothing bad but if I layer a light eye cream on top I just love that um, speaking of layering a little eye cream on top, I did take the, um, Amanda Watoska recommended the tissue, tissues, extreme serum smell horribly for hydrating. Yeah. Is that one of the, Jill, is that one of the, um, the serums or is that one of the creams? I don't know. But I took the, uh, the BR VIPO2 eye cream with me because they'll get look how travel friendly. I mean, little squeeze tube, um, and you're not gonna go through this whole thing in five days. It it takes forever for me to go through one of these just at home. Quintessential serums. Okay. Hmm. I have to look these up. 
these BR purchases can get crazy, right? Is my lighting getting weird? Let's go like this, straight on. Um, ooh, okay, Jill, if you do try it after you run out of hydrate, keep us posted. So this was my little eye cream, VIPO2 eye cream. I This is fantastic. Um, it's just lightweight. I find it to be a tad brightening on the, the eyes. It's very pretty for daytime. Um, in the cold winters of Alaska, this is a tad lightweight, but now that summer's here, this is good. And this combo, I really do like. The FECC with the VIPO2 on top. So that was a really nice travel-friendly combo. Um, let's see. I took my serum tool with me. I'm almost out. Look at that. And I put a couple of drops of this in... in a moisturizer. I'm really glad that I took this because um, our room had forced air. Um, forced air conditioning was coming on. So my skin was drying out at night. Um, so I was really glad I could just go into the bathroom, put a couple of drops, seal everything in and go to sleep. And I think that, that really helped. I took that moisture. Where's that thing? I took the waist skin with me and took some measurements. I just want to see what this looks like. I took some measurements and after amping up my hydration at night, um, the readings improved. And I think it was because I was in a hotel room with forced air and I don't have forced air at home and we have a humidifier in our bedroom. Um, so that combination, I needed to sort of step up my hydration. A little eye bag right there. Don't look at yourself while you're videoing. Um, serum, y'all. O2. I bought this as a little gift. This this serum is from BR is pricey. Um, so I bought this little teeny tiny version of it for myself for the holidays. And I tried it and I liked it and then I put it away. <laughs> because I was like, I have to save it. Well, I'm getting to the point where um, I need to use it because it's going to go bad. It's already May. I bought it at Christmas. So... Um, will I repurchase what? What was I, what was I? Oh, the serum tool, I already have. I have a backup. I really, really like this. Um, but I don't know about living in Houston. That's where you are, where it's really hot. It being really cold here, but Angel really likes it in California. So, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I'm not sure, I'm not sure if serum tool would be the a thing for you or not because our skin is so different and you live in Houston so I don't know but this sort of helps seals it's just really nice and moisturizer it oomphs it up but I wonder if like something like a toile from Jordan Samuel wouldn't potentially do something similar this has oils in it but it also has other things I I can't quite pin down exactly why I like this so much that I buy it and spend the extra money on it. Do you know? But I love it, and I do. It's hard to explain. Um, but to the serum, y'all, so I, I took this, you guys, I, I took this to Seattle and was like, I'm going to use it. And we went to a night game, and I, I think I wore... I can't remember. I have to look at my feed to see exactly when I wore it. But I know I wore it to one of the night games. And my skin was so soft. Like, I was thinking, is it because Seattle might be more humid? You know, or is it this? And I think it was this. Because we were in our hotel room with forced air. I was getting drier readings on my waist skin. But at the game, outside, at night just my skin just felt so soft and I think it looked really good too it, Jill this might have been the night that you said your skin is glowing and I was like it's VR it, I think that was that night that I was wearing this um, and and because it was a night game I didn't have any SPF on top um, so I just had this as my finishing serum and no makeup no SPF it, and it's just, it looked so pretty and my skin felt so hydrated and soft. It was, 
but it's pricey. We'll see if I buy this again, excuse me, when I finish it. I have quite a bit left. It's a more gloopy, thicker serum, if you can see that. Um, oh, it's just kind of nice. So I'm kind of, I, I am glad that I took it with me and I, I need to keep using it so that I, what is it that we spend money splurging on things for ourselves and then we don't use them? But skincare, you kind of, you kind of need to use it or it's going to go bad, you know? So there's that. It's like my very first uh, Blue Cocoon from May Lindstrom. You just sit there and you stare at it and smell it. <laughs> you have to actually, you know, use it. Um, do you, Jill, do you think you'll buy VIPO2 again, uh, the fluid, the finishing serum? Because that's a little bit more affordable, but um, Amanda recommended the y'all for me. You know, I have more mature skin and also living in Alaska where it's drier. Maybe. Can't see the name um, of which which one is, was it probably this one? This is a BR serum. I know my camera. It's called Serum Y'all O2, Y-A-L-L dash O2. I hope that's helpful. That's what, yes, okay. And it's a, a finishing serum, which BR has finishing serums. It's a serum that you put on at the very end of your routine, which is totally bizarre to what I've been taught. Serums always go, you know, right after cleansing or right after toning before a moisturizer. You put on your moisturizer and then you put on this finishing serum. So it's almost like a makeup base or a makeup product. And for me, the night that I wore it, um, without any makeup on top or anything, it was almost like my makeup for the night, the way that it, the finish. Stark, Jess, we were just talking about you. You're gonna, I'm gonna have to save this and you can rewatch it. Well, I mean, if you want to, but we were talking about you. Jess is here, you guys, from Stark Skincare. Um, so that's her there waving. Um, so this was, a finishing serum it's just it's it's a bizarre thought so for me it was more <laughs> yes we were oh and Sheldon Sheldon's in the bathroom scooting glass across the countertop hold on what are you doing no not that come on I know you go away that's no He was pushing this across the countertop. Okay, I'll take that away from him. Um, yes, yes, we were we were talking about you very positively, of course. Um, but this this was very splurgy of me to do. I don't regret getting it, but it's just sort of like one of those things. Like once you've done it, do you do it again? Kind of thing, and we'll see. But I, I did really enjoy having that in Seattle. It was really nice. So you will, okay, Jill, so I'm trying to read. You are, you will definitely repurchase. Right? He does have expensive taste. Let's, yeah, let's pick the, the nicest thing on the counter and start to... I just did a skincare routine earlier and I and I used this and then left it out so that I could post about it in my feed and he's in there sh 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 across the across the countertop. Um, a couple more things that I took. I took a whole sandwich bag full of some BR samples, but none of these I used. If if I opened them and started to use them. Um, I left them out of the bag. So this way, now that I'm home, I can take all of these and put them back in with my samples of unopened samples. Because God forbid you go to grab a sample for a trip and you grab one, one that's already been opened and then you get where you're going and you go to squeeze out product and there's like hardly anything in there. So that's, that's where my mind was. That's what I was trying to avoid. So none, there's, a, there's a Matrixium in here. There's, I think, a little tiny travel size um, La Roche Posay Cicaplast, and some, and the rest of them are all BR um, samples. So these can all go back into my samples bag. 
and the rest of these that I opened, I'll leave out on the bathroom sink and sort of finish them up. And that's, that's how I try to maintain some sort of organization in the sanity that is my skincare. <laughs> okay, bye. Oh, I can't. I was, I was gonna send you an emoji, like I'm watching your live. Um, okay, so the BR samples that I did use. Let's get those out. Um, let's see. I did a Mask Vivant with a Mask VIP02 um, before I went to go see Jordan. I was like, I gotta make my skin look good. Um, and this always helps tone, pore size. It brightens. You know, a little splotchy today. You know, it's just kind of like it's a beautiful combination. If you can ever get a sample of these or, or you're curious, I really like mixing them together. Um, I think Vivant for me alone can be a little bit intense. Um, how's my lighting going? The sun is changing. But um, these these two mixed together, I really do like. Let me pull up, get the blinds. Buddy, Shelly. Okay, maybe that helps. Does that help? We'll see. There is no professional staff here, you guys. It's just me and my phone. So, okay, so Mask Vivant, Mask Vivant, and I have full sizes of these. I really do like them. I really do like them. So having little um, travel size to take on a trip. That was really fantastic. Um, let's keep going. We're almost done. The Emulsion Original Regenerante. I have quite a few samples of this and I really do like it when my skin is sensitive. Carly! I was thinking about messaging you, but I didn't want to wake you up. Hi. Look at that glow. Holy cow. Um, so this is, I've gone through a quite a few samples of the Emulsion Original Regenerante, and I really do, I really do like it. Um, I don't know how much the full size is. I'm scared to look, so I'll just stick with, I'll just stick with um, samples for now. The same with Creme Dermo RL. It's a beautiful, it's one of their white creams, um, which means it doesn't have that sort of oceany, fishy sort of smell. Um, and I also used it on the hubs a couple times on our trip. He really likes it too. Do you finish most of your skincare items? Um, that's a good question. Because I get stuff that I didn't shop for, um, I'll get stuff that's gifted to me. Um, I would say that I probably finish less than comes in. Some things go out quite quickly um, and you guys never see them. Um, and then things that I don't really get on with, um, I send to my sister and my friends. I, I like to do that. Um, but when I finish stuff, I do like to, you know, do empties with you guys. Um, but I, I do finish stuff. But, but compared to what actually comes in here, no. I would say that um, um, more than half of my stuff probably doesn't get finished. But what's in this bag and what I took with me, all that, all that stuff, um, those are like tried and true. You know, I'm gonna travel, what do I need? I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm, not, I'm gonna take this thing I've never tried before and travel with it. So all everything you guys see here is pretty much everything. Is, it will be finished for sure. Um, I, for, I, did, I did take this though for the first time, speaking of taking a product I've never tried, but it's so tiny, it's so tiny. Um, the mask visolastine uh, that's a, a hydrating mask and I've had friends uh, who've tried it and got really good results from it and I haven't had trouble with a BR product before so I tried it and it was very nice and hydrating I think I did this Saturday night after the big win the walk-off win in the 11th inning so it was a late night but we were just really like hyped up and super excited um, so I 
decided to mask and I did this and this was nice and I there's still quite I think I only used it one time there's should be at least a couple more uses um, so I will um, keep trying that and let you guys know what I think of it I don't know how much the full size is I'm always scared when I get samples VR samples to find out oh I like this sample and then to find out how much it costs to buy so somebody asked a question um, do I buy the sample tubes or were they sent with purchase? They were sent with purchase. Um, I purchased my BR from Tosca European Spa. She has an account on Instagram but has a website where you can order from. And um, I'll consult with them on purchases and things that I want to try and my skin conditions and things that are, that are going on. And they'll send samples either based on uh, you know, I'm traveling, what do you think? And then they'll, they may send something with my purchase or I may request something specific. I hope that makes sense. So I can ask for a specific sample and sometimes they just throw things in that they think that I might like. So, yeah, thank you, Carly. Okay. Um, I don't think, wondering if the sample tubes can be bought I don't think that the salons or the spas that carry them are allowed to sell them. So if you're if you find a place where you can buy them from, I I think it's more of like a gray market type of thing. Like I have 50 samples and just start selling them, you know, as me. I I'm not a BR spa. So I think if you find it maybe like on eBay or something, somebody might be trying to sell them on there. But I don't think that it's something that you can do in the in in the in the BR market. It would have to be buying them from someone who just happens to have them. I think. I think. Um, um, niacinamide triggers cystic acne on you, and you're afraid to try the acids. Yeah, then maybe you should stay. It's hard to, it's, niacinamide and I are not extremely close, um, but it, they don't, I don't get cystic acne. It's just if my s skin is being reactive, um, niacinamide can amplify that for me. So I wonder if they have an acid that has no niacinamide in it. I'm not sure. Yes, I hate falling in love with luxury skincare as well. <laughs> it's my sad face yeah because when you go to buy it you know you know okay um, here's a cream I do like from BR and I have gone on and looked to see how much it is and I'm trying to decide if I'm going to do it there's another cream that I like but this is creme metamorphique and this is um, what do they call it? A restructuring face cream. And to me, for what it does to my skin, I like to apply it from about here down. So all this that is being so nicely amplified by the natural lighting, um, my jowls, cheekbones, it just, it just sculpts a little bit. They say it does, and I, I think it does. It seems so bizarre. You know, people are like, if a, if, a, if a cream really lifted, it would rocket us into space. Okay, maybe, I don't know. But I really think that Creme Metamorphique does something that, that is lifting and contouring to my skin. I don't know if anybody else on here has used this and can attest to that or maybe explain to me why it's happening, but it is lovely. And I put this on again before I was going to see Jordan just to kind of like, you know, put up, it was one of those days when you want to put on your best face. Yes, Carly, it's like a facelift, a wonder bra for your face. It just, I mean, it's not going to, you know, in certain light, not going to take away every little, you know jowl line or anything but it just kind of 
you know, gives your, gives your skin like this little sort of lifted hug. And it's an expensive cream, but it's not something that I couldn't possibly consider. My husband and his sister are texting me. Group text, stop. Um, so that's one of my favorites that I haven't actually um, broken down and bought the full size, and I think it's because I still have some samples. Stop, you guys. So when I run out of samples, you guys. So uh, speaking of Creme Masque Vernique, Carly. Carly, have you been through, are you on your third one? You guys, you guys. Um, so Carly, are you saying, okay, wait, wait, wait. Creme Biofixine is more lifting and more hydrating. Okay, I have a couple of Creme Biofixines. I'm gonna try, I need to try that. I need to see, but Biofixine is more expensive. Didn't we look up the Biofixine range and we were both like, <laughs> like that's crazy. Um, about to buy um, tub number three of Creme Mask Renique. When I first saw this and I first tried it and saw that it was a mask, um, I wasn't as nearly impressed thinking of it, using it as a mask, if that makes sense. But when Tosca started to discuss with us or show us or speak about using it as a moisturizer um, or mixing it in with a little bit of your normal moisturizer, or yeah, so as a last step moisturizer or mixing it in with your moisturizer, it, it changed my opinion of it. I really, really started to like it a lot more. Um, it, and it has such an unusual texture and feel to it. There's nothing I can really compare it to. It's one of, it's a browner, it's a brownish color. So it has, more of that scent experience that may linger or bother some people. Um, the way that this protects my skin, it's it's very interesting. Um, and this is also on my radar to purchase, but geez, the prices, I just, ooh, whew. So, and then I took a couple, oh, let's, the rejuvenated, the rejuvenated skincare, this is one of their little um, hydration packs. So you drink it. Oh, two minutes remaining. Okay, we're almost done. So one of their little hydration packets, you mix it in with water. I took these with me and thought that they were great, especially the these little travel size, you know, little single use packets. Um, I also took my Cause RX pimple patches because how easy does that travel? It's like a piece of paper in case I needed them, which I did not. And I took a couple of sample um, SPFs with me, but I didn't use these. I have the Tatcha, a Super Goop, and a La Roche Posay. I just used the ones that I already had open. But these are kind of nice. You want to put it in your pocket and take it to the game or do something just in case you need it. But um, we only have like a minute left, but that's, it's empty now. It is what I took on my trip. And I think I used almost everything except for surprisingly I didn't use my 10 balm. So yeah, Car Carly, the Vernique is great even for acne skin. Like Amanda uses it. Amanda? Amanda at, at Tosca's spa uses it and she used to have really bad acne, but Tosca fixed that. So thank you for hanging out with me and thank you for the hearts and thank you for going through my stuff, my travel stuff. I can put it away now. Now that it's the weekend, I'm going to put it away. I'm going to do laundry. I hope you all have a great uh, Mother's Day or however you celebrate tomorrow. Ten Balm is good. It's Indeed Labs. It's good stuff. So I hope that you found that helpful. And I will try and make sure to save this with my Instagram tech skills and upload it to stories so that you can watch it later if you so choose. It'll be up there for 24 hours. So... Hope you all have a great weekend, and thanks for hanging out with me in my jam jams. Bye.